Yeah, forget the theater. Forget it, I'm going to Vlad's place. Hey, are the kids out here? Around the station? I don't- I don't see them. I feel like my brain's on fire and I'm always panicked trying to deal with all these things that I need to do. And again, that's the point of the game. It's supposed to be like that. Not a relaxing game to play, is it? <clears throat> mm. I'm gonna go straight up here and just keep going straight. You're gonna try to punch me, aren't you? Yeah, you're one of those. Oh god. No! One fist! Wow, I'm really sucking. There we go. Three hits, right? Alright, give me your shit. Come on, asshole. Did my exhaustion increase from getting hurt, or is that just... Probably just from time. isn't great, but if I ever sleep, it should heal pretty well. Hmm, lemon. That will reduce my exhaustion. A bandage for a lemon? Uh. Uh. No. We should be almost there. I forgot where the entrance was. Knock. Oh, that's not my- <laughs> that's not the place. <laughs> Close. Wait! Uh, no, I came to the theater instead of- Fuck! It's pretty close, though. Should I go to the theater now? I think- No, time goes by when I'm at the theater. Like, it's not like a cutscene. I watch a thing and time ticks as I watch it. No. Um... I'm trying to see the best way to get there. It's weird and convoluted. I think, uh, I think I see it. I think I have to go here, here, here. Thanks, Yulia, Yulia for designing these streets. Oh. 
give me your stuff. Tiny bit of money. Alright. Fuck off. Oof, my exhaustion and hunger are high. Let's have a smoked meat. Yeah, that's really good. Take a right here. Put your fist down. Don't be a weirdo. Ooh, red thread. I need that to make the inventory upgrade. <coughs> oh, I could trade for it for only three. That's not much at all. It's got to be a bit bandage, unfortunately, but that's alright, I suppose. I guess I'll get a needle as well, then, to get more money's worth. <coughs> Almost there. Ugh. I don't know if I can get to tie in time. I'm going to try. Herb? I'm not going to search for it. Um, this, this building here. Wait, I think this goes... That's Capella's wing. How do I get to the other wing? Probably just, just like the... Is there a front door? Yeah, there's like a big front entrance. It's got to be here. talk to them. Sh shit. That must be one of the things, that, one of the opportunities that disappears at the end of the day. Although, weirdly enough, Taya's still marked on the map, but I can't talk with them. Fuck. Sorry, Taya. Okay. Well... Maybe it's been unlocked now, cause just because they felt like unlocking it? It's been enough time? I don't think so, it's very unlikely. I think I want to go to Salva's place. Yeah. I think it's probably best just to run there. It's so close. I don't think a boat's really worth it. I'd have to travel a little bit farther away and then take the boat here. Mm. Meow. Best way is probably... Oh, I see fighting over here. The best way is probably to go straight over here and go through the warehouse district. Just because it's a straighter shot. You need some help over here? Oh shit, they got a knife. Oh fuck. I didn't think they were one hit away from death. Oh wow, smoked meat, broken ampule, peanuts, money, scrap name, money, candle stub. That is good stuff. I wouldn't mind some drained blood. I've already got some on me. I wouldn't mind some more so I can feed the earth. I mean, they're already dead. I took all their blood. <laughs> you. I could take organs and then sell them to that person. Hmm. I imagine 
the higher chance to damage organs are the more valuable organs. Brain. Heart? Is that the heart? I'm not sure what these are. I think that was like spleen or something, and I don't know what would be in the stomach. I'm gonna do it. Liver. Right. We'll see how much that sells for. This is... I'm a, a Manku. Or at least an aspiring Manku. Mm. Ooh, that made my reputation go down quite a bit. Especially, did it say the backbone? Looks like the backbone, it went down a lot. Thankfully, it's still just no one cares about you, but... um. Yeah, I don't think I want to go just taking everybody's organs. Because that's going to wreck my reputation really quickly. At the hind quarters, I'm unwelcome. I don't think that means they try to kill me on sight, though. I'm not sure. Maybe it does. Anyway. Where am I going? Right, through the district. Am I near the organ dealer? Far's place? Nah, pretty far away. I hope the organ stays fresh and doesn't become rotted overnight. My exhaustion's awfully high. Is there a place to sleep at Saba's? There is. I think I'm gonna sleep there. I need to sleep. I think it's fair to say I got almost everything done today. That's a pretty huge accomplishment. May I join you all? Kate. Asaba will teach us. She knows the way. She speaks to Earth. Mother Bodo talks to us through her. What will she teach you? She knows our traditions. We have long been oppressed. Now we face extinction. We forget our language, our crafts and arts. The art of talking to Earth. The language of herbs. The craft of lines. She advises well. Seems like a kind of weird question, but what advising do you need? Not a simple one. <laughs> that wasn't an offer, by the way. I'm a bad advisor. We'll just end with that. Wonderful. I have a question for our mother. There is little time left before it all ends. When it happens, would I be allowed to spare the lives of those who trusted me and called themselves friends? Would I be allowed to not kill them? That's an ominous thing to say. When what happens? When the kin flood the town. When the steppe consumes the streets and houses. What shall I do to people then? I don't think I like any of these options. Dream on? Katanga. Oh, that hair is so cool. Is that like a little... A little twig I see sticking out of it? And what's that around their neck? 
looks kind of like metal, like metal rectangles, metal little tabs. Different sizes, bigger ones, smaller one. I don't know, the herb rides are just so interesting looking. It looks like this is made out of leather. I want to ask Saba, will our brothers and sisters be allowed to marry? The kin are, well, kin. We're all children of Bodo, and there's so few of us left. Oh, so few of us left, so wondering if uh, the whole incest thing... Hmm. Well, no, not a good idea. Marry the townsfolk. That's the only way to survive. We're too different. That's the idea. But that doesn't matter. When the kin swallow the town, there will be neither wives nor children. Dream on? Why is everybody talking about the kin swallowing the town? Oh, you do not look okay. Are you okay? I would ask Mother about self-sacrifice. She said we must sacrifice everything for our fellow kin as we prepare to flood the town. I gave everything I had, even my own entrails. Now I'm dying. Did I make the correct decision? That's why you don't look okay. You gave your entrails. What did you give them for? What, what for? I will tell it to Saba. It's a long story. I should save my strength. Ah, uh, if you're asking me, it was a stupid thing to do. Sad note to end a conversation on when they're shortly going to die, but it's either that or encourage them. Bite Karan, you're back. What say you? Who are you? Have you forgotten our faces already? We asked for your help. We wanted to be led into the Warrens. Oh, right. Oh, right, they gave me money to do it, even. Well, I'm gonna give the money back then, of course. Um, I couldn't persuade Big Vlad. Here's your money. That's where I can sleep. Oops. Saba? A tune's reflection. <clears throat> she drinks a lot of milk. What do I care? No one knows how she became herself. Suspicion and fear surround a tale of one who left the steppe. She's said to be inhuman, a doll of clay and bone, Shabnak Adig. There's blood in her veins. The same can be said of Earth. So what? Those are mere legends. My master waits for her assigned time. Five years ago, during the first outbreak, Earth cast her with a secret task that must have been fulfilled back then. Are you saying that... The first outbreak was curbed by your father, however. With vicious force, he changed the flow of history. And Saba Uspte, Saba Atun, the one called Aspity by common folk, stayed behind within this world. A groomless bride, a blemish, lost, estranged from her true goals. Believes she owes her life to Isidore, who made her, who foresaw her. Made her? <clears throat> I'm a little scared of Saba now. I like her. She's an Abge, a sister to me. I feel her care. She feigns humanity quite well and holds respect and power in the kin. She rules over this hiding place where stepfolk can find escape from being yoked with an Olgimsky's cruel mill. 
Here they can hide and heal and run their midnight markets. Are there many such steppe people? Enough. Enough to flood the town. So are they planning to flood the town then? All of the steppe people getting together? There will be blood. Your father, whom she worships without understanding, meant the kin to merge into the town to make a body whole. But we cannot and will not. So she decided to adjust the town to the needs of the kin. She brokers work for brides and odongs, setting them up as dancers or couriers. One wonders why. Hmm. <clears throat> so Saba's trying to trying to make it happen more gradually rather than flooding the town just kind of like a gentle trickle of integration into the town she doesn't know what she's doing indeed she's not human after all but love does drive her like it drives you and love is blind and foolish You're lying. She is human. I can tell. I don't think Artemy would want to believe that she's not human. Hmm. The wretched creature is strong. To be fair, she is very strange. Earth, warm your roots, Emshin. Who are all these people, Saba? What do they want? They respect me, you see. I know not the lines, but I sense Earth. I speak to them on her behalf. They believe I am made of soil, like, Sh like Shabnak Adig, though they don't call me that. They ask strange questions, Saba. Why do they come to you? I teach the truth of the kin to these people. I retell our old legends. I remind them of Bodo's will, of how the world is a body. I hear the earth and speak her will for them. I make sure they know where they came from and where they are going. A sick people, a weak people, needs this. Our future hangs by a thread. Why were they asking me, then, and not you? <clears throat> I knew that would happen. You have done well, following the lines. You think so? My answers were not the same you would have given them. They believe they come here for advice. False. They have long since made up their minds. Now their only weakness sows doubt in them. We take on the burden of that doubt. Whatever we tell them, they'll do what they think is right. <clears throat> Is that your idea of help? They're helping us, not the other way around. The question matters, not the answer. To the listener, not the speaker. They carry their own stories. You carry yours. Such is the truth of the lines, Tonger. The truth of the earth. I'll give this some thought. <clears throat> yeah, I think it's time to sleep. Performance at the theater, and I think that's the only other thing I can do. I mean, I could drink, drink, drink. I could drink Twirein and try to find another place to go to. But no, I need to sleep. I have to sleep. Let's check in if there's anybody else to talk to. No. <clears throat> okay, let's take some morphine and drift off to sleep. Um, I might get too hungry in my sleep, actually. Let's take the smoked meat. Thank God I got that from the person that I accidentally killed. Hunger's good. Thirst is good. 
we should be fine to sleep without it hurting us. <clears throat> three. Let's sleep for three hours. See how that does, I suppose. Maybe four hours. I'm sure we could use it. We're at like max exhaustion. What? What is this? Four, five, six. Seven. This is probably just a coincidence, but for some reason I got the thought about the eighth. Remember we buried the eighth? And I just counted all the kids, and there's seven of them. Which would make me the eighth? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Probably a coincidence, right? Oh no, my cat's on my desk bumping the microphone. Oh baby. Baby. I'm gonna film this. And as soon as I do, she goes away. Oh, I think these are all the kids on the list. Right? That's Notkin. That's, uh... That's Murky. This is Stinky. Not sure who that is. That's Capella? Yeah, that's Capella. That's Tayatai Cheek. Yeah. <clears throat> hey, Taya. That's a really nice face. Like, very happy and cheerful. Most people look creepy when we switch to this view. The rocks? Toglor. Toglor? Don't be afraid. We're all on the same side for now, aren't we? They look so mischievous, don't they? I know who you are. You're the kids from Father's List. We're all grateful to you. We know protecting us isn't easy, but you still do it. You make sure we live. <clears throat> there are seven of you, but there was an eighth on the list. Where is he? Here, for now. He's the Uderg. Is he behind that door? We think it's your father behind the door. But maybe the eighth is transitioning already. Have you discovered who he is? We're curious, too. I want to say no, I don't know yet, but that would end the conversation, so I don't want to say that. What's behind the door? We don't know, and neither will you. We can't enter yet, nor do we want to. No one does. Why is the Eighth nameless? Because he's the Uderg. If he lives, so do we. If he begins to die, so will we. Well, that's not good, because it said that they were in danger on my list. And if they die, then the kids do? <coughs> What's an Uderg? No answer? No answer. Do you think opening it from the other side would do anything? So that interrupted our sleep, we... Yeah, just interrupted our sleep. We only slept a tiny, tiny bit. There we go. Exhaustion almost completely gone. Hunger almost completely full. <laughs> and it's like one minute from ding, new day. <clears throat> Day three, in which the alarm bell tolls. Anybody here to speak with? Oh, yes. Little meeting down here? 
<clears throat> oh, worm. Remember? Like a long time ago when we first saw the Odongs, I thought maybe they were called worms because I think that was a, the name of a character in the original Pathologic. Uh, one of these Odongs. Well, here's Worm. For you, Emshin, heart, liver, kidneys, they still smell of life. You're giving me organs? <clears throat> Why would I need these? Make potions as your father. Cures from grief, poison, envy, aches. He made any cure when he had good meat. This is good meat. Take it. Only a manku can cut a body. Is there a manku among you? No, Yogachin. We have broken the law. Those who do not know the lines cannot cut bodies. We will give our lives, mine and Kuse, no others. But why? You do need these, Yargachin. Real potions have meat, Aninte. Herbs have borders. Your great father used more than herbs. He made cures from blood and flesh, from those alive. So they used organs to make potions. Okay. What kind of cures? Any kind. Cures for pain, cures for fever, cures for the inner fire. Cures for all three layers of the body. Those who know the lines can cure any disease with guts and herbs. This is how the world works. So it's a universal method. Curious. <clears throat> These are a gift, so you don't risk your life. Don't cut the living unless there is need. Don't cut the dead unless there is need. Even if you're a good Menku, Bodo does not like it. Better we suffer than you. Bayarla, I accept your gift and your sacrifice. That is a hell of a sacrifice. Two of them have basically doomed themselves to death to provide me with these organs to help people. Thank you. I, yeah, I don't have room for all this stuff. Uh, I guess I'll drop the heart. I mean, drop the heart, what? Drop that to make room for the heart? Yes. Right, so we got everything else. We got two livers. It's not rotten or anything. A heart. A vial of blood. Was there anything else? Or is it just the heart and the liver that you can get? So what do we have on our list? Oh, this is stu still Act 2? Apart from the seven kids, there was an eighth on the list. Uderg. An Uderg, perhaps? Who or what is it? I suspect I will one day have to find out. Medicine can be made from herbs, water, and human insides. Various kinds of medicine, including ones that can't be bought in stores. Home is where your friends, your Taglor, are. I wonder how Lara is doing. So I should go speak with Lara. I should make some potions. Anything marked on the map? Well, at least Taya is still marked, so... Good. Maybe that's not, like, doomed. <laughs> the opportunity hasn't completely disappeared. <clears throat> okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I think we're going to head over to Lara. <laughs>